that's it's the the p word which is quite explicit thank you for the light wasim uh movie and we say film yeah you have the movies don't you we have cinema you see i saw the time when i was a kid they were great ciggy lollies so you wouldn't get away with saying that in public cliff if you said that in public you'd probably get slapped from it walking around saying that you yeah you ate a bunch of fags all right cookie and biscuit dessert and pudding candy and sweets french fries and chips eggplant and aubergine uh liquor and we say spirits oatmeal and porridge sweater jumper diaper nappy sneakers trainers panties and knickers pants and trousers Gutted and disappointed, chuffed and pleased, knackered and tired. See, knackered is is very used in the UK, but I think that's also used elsewhere as well. Bloody, I say bloody a lot, which is really. Oh, please don't be offended, Frank. Fit and fine, all right. How's it going? You good? Flat and apartment. Lift, elevator. That's another one. Skip, dumpster. Pants is underwear. Trousers and pants. Ob and stovetop. Grill and boiler. A jab and a shot. Chemist pharmacy. Fringe and bangs. Lorry and semi. Um, hamper and a gift basket. Off license and liquor store. loads here and then we got British name for food as well so chips is Chris courgette is zucchini uh, coriander uh, is it pronounced calantra arugula rocket beet beetroot raw ham gammon toasted sandwich toasty bread roll is what we would call a bap yeah, cookie is biscuit, cupcake is fairy cake, cotton candy we call candy floss, popsicle for us is ice lolly. Quite a few here. Yeah? Well that's it, you, you kind of pick up the slang, don't you, from who you're speaking to. Hello RWJ. Brolly. Which is like an umbrella. Butty. Copper. Dosh. Jam sandwich. Plonk. Rashers. Serviette. You say napkin, don't you? Is it serviette and napkin? Is it pronounced cilantro? Is it? All right. Cilantro. Yeah, hamper's like a gift, like a gift bat, like a gift thing, Brian. Vacation and holiday, yep. I'm doing good, thank you, RWJ, sir. I'm just looking at some American British slang words and stuff. Barney Rubble, yes. Anorak. Purse. Um, that's quite a few of them here. Jeez. Uh, Sada, thank you for the light, buddy. Blinder. Quid. Farsi pound. Hard and solid. Which has many meanings. Definitely does. All right, grass. In the US, grass is a noun. In the UK, it is also a verb to grass on someone or to grass someone up. It means to tell on them. All 
Oh, Czech is yeah, Bill in the UK in the in USA in it. Because you say can we have the Bill? And we say can we have the Czech? A razor and rubber. Fanny pack is a bum bag. Double fisting in the USA should never be said in the UK. Yeah, please don't say that. Oh hi, your mum looks nice. She would love a double if you say that there, you yeah. Let's not use this one in Britain. No matter how many drinks you're carrying, you're going to get a look you'll never forget if you accidentally let it slip. So it means carrying two drinks at once in America. A long week. I'll be doing double fisting. <laughs> be double fisting the cocktails tonight. See, that would mean something completely different in the UK. Don't be going around double fisting anything. A dinner in the USA, maybe tea in the northern UK. See, I use I say dinner. I say breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Some people say breakfast, dinner, and tea. Cellmate and inmate. Line in the USA is Q in the UK. Costume in the USA is fancy dress in the UK. Cigarette in the USA is fag in the UK. If you're an American in the UK and someone says they're stepping out for a fag, don't look shocked at their derogatory remarks. They're just going out for a cigarette. Yeah, fall and autumn. Paris and handbag. Nap in the USA is kip in the UK. Breakfast, lunch, and supper. All different way all different ways to say stuff, isn't it? Like even people in the UK say things differently as well, based on where you live. Like I could have a different meaning or a word for something than someone may have, you know, a couple of hundred miles up north. I'll have a look, see what I can do, see if I can fix it. But yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fantastic week, guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.